Hello, people of YouTube. Today, I am making probably the most important YouTube video I've ever made. So as you can see from the title of the video, this is my coming out story. Now, any of you guys who already know me know that I'm already fully out and open about my sexuality. And I've actually been completely out since before I even started my YouTube channel. So it might seem weird that I'm making a coming out video, but it's really just me telling my coming out story because a lot of people have requested it. And also because I want to contribute to the sort of canon on YouTube of like coming out videos. That's mostly because it was only three years ago that I was in the closet and completely unsure of myself. And I know how important watching those videos was. I can, I can remember when I watched Troy Sivan's coming out video and Connor Franta and um, you know, just people like that and, and the, the previous generation. I like to think of myself as sort of this next generation coming after those people and hopefully the next generation after me can benefit from my experience or my perspective or at the very least maybe you guys just get a, a cool story. I don't know. It's really weird. I, this is making me so nervous. I'm never nervous in front of the camera and I'm already out for like three years now so I don't know why I'm nervous in front of the camera but like I am. It's very strange. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just gonna start from the, the beginning. It all began when I was a young boy. <laughs> I guess the, the story of my coming out sort of begins my junior year of high school. I had known for a while that I, I was like not straight, but I, I wasn't 100% sure of anything. I was a super, like super masculine guy in high school. I actually, I had dated girls, I had been with lots of girls because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I was an athlete and took that extremely seriously and um, I just didn't think at that time that like I could belong to the gay community because I, I guess I thought that there was no one like me, like I didn't have a lot of representation and I still think that like sports is lacking in gay representation so I'm trying to help that. Basically, yeah, I, I wasn't sure where I fit in because I, I knew I wasn't straight, but I didn't think that there was a space for me in the LGBT community. Being in this position of not knowing whether I was gay or just not normal or like bi or whatever, um, one day I'm standing in my kitchen and my sister was listening to videos of this kid like singing, playing piano, whatever. And she's like, oh, this kid's so good. Like I'm in love with him, whatever. I wasn't really paying attention. And then I heard her say, it's too bad he's probably gay. And I kind of just like perked up and I was like, what, who is that? And she's like, uh, oh, this kid at our school, like he's, he's so talented, whatever, but he's probably gay. And I said, oh, what's his name? And I watched these videos and he was very talented, very good. So I ever so subtly slid into his DMs and I also played piano and sang and stuff like that. And I uh, messaged him, do you want a piano and chill? And he said, I'm always down to tickle the ivories. And so now I'm extremely nervous. I'm like, wait, I'm gonna go hang out with this kid. I don't know if he's gay. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so we set a date that we were gonna hang out, which was like Thursday. And so Tuesday, I had my best friend Sonia over and I was like, I, I have to talk to someone about this. And I told her I had something really important to tell her and I just could not get it out. Like I could not say the words, I am gay. And uh, I was like, I can't say it, I can't say it. Like I, I'm, I, I don't, whatever. And uh, she goes, okay, do you want me to guess? And I was like, sure. So she goes, did you kill someone? And I was like, no, like she's kidding. And then she gets really serious and she's like, did you get someone pregnant? And I was like, no, it's, it's actually like the opposite of that. And she was like, you're gay. She got that and that was the first person that I came out to, but I couldn't even say the words myself. I was so nervous and like unsure of myself. And we, we finally, we talked about it and uh, I told her about the boy I had messaging and I was gonna meet up with and um, she was super supportive, super sweet. But that was probably the, the hardest like conversation I've ever had in my life and I didn't even say anything. So that was my, my very first coming out. And then something I, I guess I didn't realize beforehand is that you don't only come out once. Even if you write a big Facebook post, although I think those days are gone, but that used to be the thing is you write a big Facebook post and you would come out, a lot of kids did that. You still, if you come out very publicly, are going to have to come out over and over again in your life. So now I had to go about the business of telling everyone else that was important to me. 
And at this point, it didn't so much feel like I had taken weight off my shoulders, it just felt like I had someone like in on my secret. So then I told my sister, my sister had just gotten her driver's permit, and so I said, do you wanna go uh, drive with me? And we went on a little drive and I asked her to pull over and I told her that I was gay and she got extremely excited because <laughs> She was the only person pretty much in the world uh, who saw this coming and she was like, I knew it, I knew it. Um, the only person. <laughs> so that was exciting. That felt a little bit like I had gotten something off my chest and I was already starting to become more comfortable with the idea. So I met with that kid then um, and still didn't know if he was gay. So it turns out that he was also in the closet. So we were both like, like closeted gay boys trying to like meet another gay and um, <laughs> neither of us <laughs> were comfortable enough to like tell the other person because we're completely in the closet. So we are uh, <laughs> so we hung out and got to know each other and I introduced him to my friends who start hanging out all the time and my friends were like, you know this guy's gay, right? And I was like, do you think so? Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but. So finally, I, the next person I came out to was that boy, and then he came out to me, and that was cute, and that was private, and I'm not going to share exactly how that happened, but um, that went really, really well. And then I figured, okay, now I'm like dating this boy in secret, and only two people know that I'm gay, I have to tell all my best friends. But the problem with that was all my best friends were like very masculine, bro-y, like hyper straight guys and I was extremely nervous about how that was gonna go. Just to show you how bro-y and lost and out of the loop <laughs> my friends were. I came out to my one friend, Nathan, and, and my dad at the same time. We were in the car and I just turned to these guys. I was like, hey guys, I have to tell you both something right now while you're here with me. I'm gay and I'm dating a guy. And my friend Nathan starts laughing <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm serious, like I'm not kidding. And he's like, you can't be gay, you don't talk like that. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> he actually, uh, wow. So I just, I realized in that moment how um, inexperienced with any of this he was. And uh, he had like, like he didn't have any gay friends. He had only seen like gay people on TV who fit like a terrible stereotype of like all gay people being one way and like talking extremely effeminately or having a lisp or something ridiculous. And I was like, wow, um, Nathan, like, you don't have to talk a certain way to be gay. Like, you just have to like guys. <laughs> and I had to like explain this to him, it was absurd. But he didn't care, but he was just so, so lost. So anyways, so one by one I kind of told all my best friends and they all had different reactions, but all positive and, and great. They're just, they're amazing people. That's why they were already my friends. And when people are nervous about coming out to their friends, I always tell them, like, these people are already your friends for a reason. It's because they're probably good people and they care about you and uh, your sexuality is not gonna change either of those things. Finally, my big public coming out was, I was sitting at lunch with a bunch of my girlfriends. I had two lunch periods. I had one where I sat with, this is so trivial, but just to explain. I had one where I sat with like all my guy friends and then I had another lunch period, so I sat with like all my girlfriends. It just worked out. Anyway, so sitting with all those girlfriends and like looking on Instagram, they were like looking at pictures of guys and stuff and I was like getting my opinion like we were all just like talking about guys and I was like talking about guys as though I'm like one of the girls. Finally one of them says to me like very jokingly, Dylan when are you coming out? And I was like, I guess right now. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm actually dating a guy, so and so from our school. <laughs> and they all looked at me like, I, like shocked. Cause I, I, like I said, I was kind of known as like the exact opposite of like the stereotypical gay kid. I was like the stereotypical straight kid actually. And so it was, it was really cool though because I do think that at least at my school, like it changed people's perspectives a lot on what being gay or straight meant and just completely broadened the horizon of like sexuality being completely unconnected to personality and I think that's important. So I finally came out to the entire school. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. Once you really put it out in a very public way, it can spread quickly. But I still hadn't come out to my parents and that was the most nerve-wracking and like intense thing that I was holding back. I think because I, in my head I was like, well, if I come out to my friends and they don't want to be my friends anymore, fuck them, like I can get new friends. 
they, I don't want those friends, if you know what I mean? And I was like, if I come out to like these people, like they don't matter. But I thought if, if I had a problem with my parents, like that would really, really change my life. And I, I think talking to a lot of people um, who are even still in the closet, or, you know, or, or open to like all their friends, but still in the closet of their parents, that's a very common fear. But I also wanted to not be hiding something and, and uh, I wanted to be honest about who I was. So I asked my sister to help me and I told my mom to come downstairs and we sat her down and I could not keep a straight face. Like I was laughing the entire time because I was like, this is so serious and I can't take things serious that I don't do well in these situations. So I'm like laughing the entire time and my sister is also laughing at me like this is absurd. And also I think we were kind of anticipating my mom's reaction which was <laughs> exactly what we anticipated. So finally I was just like, she's like, what? What is going on? I want to go to bed. Like it's very late. We like woke her up for this and I'm like, all right, I'm gay. And she's like, okay, what do you need? Like, what do you do? Seriously, why did you tell me? And I was like, no, 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 that's really why I woke you up. Like, I'm gay. And my sister's like, no, he's being serious. She was like, mm, I don't think so. She basically said, all right, that's fine. She said, I feel like the wrong son is coming out because my brother is an artist and a lot more feminine and in touch with his artistic side, let's say, and he is straight, but my mom thought for a long time, I guess, that he would be gay and never really saw that coming from me. So, a little role reversal there, switched up her, her brain. And again, just like, I don't know, I think important. Because my, my mom was a professional ballerina. So, she knew lots of gay people, but she knew ballerinas who, you know, tend to maybe fit that stereotype more. She didn't know football players who were gay, she knew ballerinas. So, she was like, well, you're not a ballerina, you're a wrestler. and didn't really put those two things together. So even my mom who had been exposed to like, and had a ton of gay friends, didn't really like have that good of an understanding of sexuality being completely unrelated. So yeah, that was pretty much the end of my coming out journey, or at least the important parts. You do come out for the rest of your life. Like you're gonna meet people all the time and have to say, oh, this is my boyfriend or, or this is, you know, blah, blah. And it, it gets easier and easier every time, but there is still sometimes like an awkward bump you have to go over like, oh, this person doesn't know that I'm gay yet. And sometimes people will assume, you know, hey, do you have a girlfriend? Are you whatever? And you have to be like, well, no, I have a boyfriend. And it's just like a very easy, like subtle ways of coming out. Overall, every single one of my coming out moments was extremely positive. I don't think I lost one friend because of it. Um, I was blessed to grow up in a pretty liberal community where that stuff wasn't so taboo. But I do think it's important to say just because people ask me all the time, like, when should I come out? Come out when you're ready and come out when you're safe. Those are the two most important things. After you come out to one person or two people, you might feel pressure to come out to other people, but like do it at your own pace. You, you only get to do it once and it's, it's gonna be something you probably remember forever. And it's still something that's important. I don't believe in this, uh, oh, people shouldn't even, need to come out anymore. I've seen a lot of like YouTube videos by people that I actually respect and uh, think are smart people saying like, oh, like people shouldn't need to come out. We should just have a society where no one cares. So if you're coming out, like you're contributing to this and that. The fact of the matter is though, we grew up in a society where everyone is assumed to be straight. And so you coming out and claiming and owning your sexuality uh, takes courage and is important. So however you want to do that, do that. Anyways guys, thank you for sitting and listening to this very drawn out story. Last thing I want to say, if you're young and you don't think you fit in, you do. You just probably are trying to fit in in the wrong places. Your sexuality doesn't determine who you are. That's something that I had to learn. And I do think the media is doing a better job of representing all kinds of people, but that's still something that we all need to work on is seeing people as individuals and not putting them in categories, right? So don't try and fit into a category. Just be yourself, especially when you're young. You have a lot of figuring things out to do ahead of you. Take everything at your own pace. Love yourself unconditionally. If no one else does, you've got to do it yourself. And I wish all of you the best of luck in all your endeavors. If this video helps one person or gives one person courage, I've done my job. So thank you guys for listening. I love you all. And I'll see you next time.